Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I will be showing you how I download fonts into my iPad. And the first thing is to download an app called iFont and this will help you install some of the fonts that you've downloaded. This app is available in the App Store and it's free so just search iFont and you'll be able to find it. And just to show you what it looks like in the app, this is what it looks like. You have um, the installed and uninstalled fonts on the left and um, it'll show up when you share the font that you've downloaded to the app. So I like going to dafont.com for free fonts. So right now I'm just going to pick a font to download. Um, it'll tell you if it's free for 100%, which is free for use for anything or just personal use. Um, and I'll choose this font to download. And once you've downloaded it, it'll show up in the download section. So all you need to do is open it and unzip the file. And then you open the folder and you'll see the fonts that you need to install are already in the iFont logo. So what you need to do is to just click the font and then share them to iFont. And once it's in the iFont app, you will see that um, the fonts that need to be installed are on the left. So this is the one that I downloaded and it is now ready to install. So you just click the install button and follow through the steps, um, allow it to be installed, and it will now be in the profile um, in settings. And you'll see in this next step that it'll teach you all the additional steps that you need to go through um, to activate the font. So now I'll just go into my settings and activate the font. What you'll see is um, some notifications on the side, uh, but if you don't see that, you can go to a profile at the bottom for to view profile, and you will see that um, there's one profile to be installed. It'll ask you for a password, you put it in, and then you just go ahead and install. And so now your font is installed in the profile section in um, your iPad. And to double check, you can go back into general and look at the profile section and you should be able to see your fonts installed. So a tip I have for you is to exit the GoodNote app um, before you start using your font because sometimes it doesn't register that you've installed the font so exiting the app just helps uh, restart the program and uh, recognize the new font so now you can see that my new font works and it shows on good notes and now I'm able to use it um, in all my planning and note-taking so that's my tutorial for today. Thanks for watching and I hope um, you'll subscribe, like, and click the bell button for my future videos. See you!